I, I'm very confused still about the TIE and the uh, first thing I'm confused about is uh, uh, I'm not what's it it's almost as if at the moment it's sort of voluntary to ch exchange your green card for the TIE but it, is it obligatory after the 1st of January or not then or not obligatory either after the 1st no. of January the Spanish authorities have said that it is voluntary and it will remain voluntary Okay, so why, this is what I, I mean, this is the question that we're going to have all the time now, of course, is people are going yep. to say, okay, well, it's voluntary, well, should I do it or not? What do I do? Do I do it? Exactly. Do I... So people are going to have to make their own decision. We are not going to tell people what to do there, okay? The Spanish authorities have said that either document is valid to prove that you'll fall under the withdrawal agreement. A4 residency certificate, small residency card, or a TIE, whether it's permanent or not. They have said that all three documents are valid to show that you fall under the withdrawal agreement. The advantages of taking out a TIE is that it is photo ID, it is clear, it's simple to use, um, you don't need to carry your passport around with you and things like that. The disadvantage yeah. is that every 10 years, you will need to go and renew it. Mm -hmm. um, your status will not be affected by whether or not or not you renew it, but the validity of the card is. So if you take the example of someone who has a driving license, if they don't renew their driving license, they're still, they, they still, they don't need to redo their test, but they can't drive until they've got a new driving license. So if you have a TIE for 10 years and it expires and you don't renew it, your status hasn't changed, you're still full within the withdrawal agreement, but when you have to show it, you don't have anything that can show it and you need to go and renew it. So you, you, know, you are forced to renew it eventually. So that's okay. the disadvantage is obviously, every 10 years, that trip to the police station to do it all over again. So Thank it's entirely up to each individual what they want to do. Thank, Thank you, Sharon. And um, we are now just coming up to um, finish. Um, thank you all for joining the panel. I'm sorry we had so many questions. There isn't time to pass it round for you all to uh, give a brief synopsis of what you wanted to say. But thank you. And I'm sure the people who asked the questions and those who watch this are grateful for the information that you have provided. Brexpats in Spain is available to everybody. It's free to join. Uh, we have 15,000 members now in Spain and we try and help everybody in any way that we can. To Sarah, thank you, uh, specifically for the consulate input and Martin from the embassy.